to talk to you about one of my favorite helmets. Uh, it's called a Custom 500. Uh, Bell did not try to reinvent the wheel when they made this helmet. They basically made this helmet um, in 1957. It was called the 500. And uh, they brought it back a couple of years ago as a retro helmet. And basically what they did was just redesign the interior. It's all silk. It's very, very nice, very comfortable. One of the key things about this helmet is that you need to pull this helmet apart before you put it on your head because it will kind of draw back in and uh, cover your ears and it just feels great. It's a great fitting, feeling three-quarter helmet uh, to the point where I can say there's nothing else on the market that feels on your head like this helmet. Now the best thing about this helmet is the cool factor. Most people, and especially young people, that are riding either custom bikes, cafe racer, racers, bobbers are, right, are using this helmet just as it stands, either in like matte black or black or possibly metallic black. Um, so this is that helmet. The new graphics for 2012 are the Hellfire, which I'm holding here in my hand. This is a scales graphic. This is actually designed by a guy named Scratch out of Fort Worth, Texas. And, uh, these will be limited, meaning that as long as they're available, they'll be there, and then when they're no longer in the catalog, they'll no longer be there. So there's some of his designs around that you'll see that you think you want, and they won't be in the catalog, and you'll know they're no longer available. But it's just a great, great thing for people that want custom retro helmets. This is Scratch's first design that he did for us last year. Very, very nice helmet, matte black. This is a lady's helmet. You can see the nice design they put on this. Got some hearts in there, different two or three different colors. This is the Cobra. This is one of my favorite helmets, probably done the best for me. I don't know if you can see the Cobra there on the front, but it's basically a Captain America with Evil Knievel all rolled into one helmet. So it's very nostalgic and a lot, a lot of custom cruiser guys like this helmet and ladies too. Back in the 60s when Bell was king of all the helmets, it was the helmet to wear. They had a lot, a lot of metallic helmets. So you can see this is one of their metallic helmets. And uh, this particular one has a retro visor on it, which was what we all wore back in that day. Uh, today, most people prefer them without a visor, but there you go. Orange, another retro visor. This is very, very popular with Harley riders. This is a metallic orange, and it's very high, high visibility when you're out in traffic or just moving around. Bell makes their own bubble shields for their three-corner helmets. Some people want to have eye protection on their helmets. Here's one of them, a tinted one as well. And this is one of the most popular graphics, which is a uh, solid black metallic. Last but not least, in the 500 line is the Freedom Machine helmet. This is a Roland Sands design helmet. He collaborates with Bell Helmets on a lot of their designs. This is his limited edition helmet for 2012. You can see that this is uh, the same helmet but just with more modal culture design on it, and that is really the nature of Bell helmets. They're plugged into a motor culture. It's not just a helmet, it's a lifestyle. So that is the Custom 500 line from Bell for 2012.